Will it hit? Does it need to get out of the car? Surround What's me, Oh! Oh dear, it doesn't fit. Oh, it looks like I hit a bird. Yeah, I know, I saw that. I live in a park, basically, yeah. I'm like a tramp. Have you ever seen in there before? Probably not. <laughs> what is that actually for? Can I remove it? That doesn't affect the garage at all. Bloody hell, what's this? This is like the Matrix in here. Yeah. So we're back again, I'm with Matt, and today it's about his Porsche. Now, we've done loads of videos trying to fit cars in the garage. The last video myself and Matt did was a Defender. Hello. <laughs> you were like, it's not gonna fit because of the spare wheel cover. And somehow we managed to make it fit. Just like there was not like that much. But I needed you at the front. We needed Justin to push it. I needed to put it into neutral. That's never realistic when you come home from work because you and Justin don't live here. That, that's not gonna happen, is it? However, this car yep. should be a piece of cake. Yep. You should be able to just pull up, open the garage, drive in, shut the garage and walk in the house. Happy days, don't need anyone around. No don't messing even need, around. Don't even need anyone to guide you forward. No, not like with Lamborghinis. We've both got very different houses. Yep. I live in North London. Uh -huh. You live in the north of somewhere. Oxfordshire. Your house is nowhere near the size of my house, yet your garden makes my garden look like... It's about the same size as this town. Yeah, his garden, exactly. So we've both got pluses and minuses on our houses. I think Joe would rather live here. <laughs> but when you do your house up, it's going to be beautiful. The reason I'm taking the out of his house is his house, he's moved in, hasn't done nothing to it. It's, I've been uh, busy filming all the bloody content. Yeah, it needs a lot of work, his house. We're showing you some of his house right now. He's got an aeroplane at his house. No, I haven't. You, got, you, you could have a helipad at your house. You could do, yeah. I could probably have an actual runway. You could have a runway. You could have a go-karting track, an Olympic-sized swimming pool times 10. There's a reason why I can't have any of those. Why? Planning permission. I didn't realise that like, if you want to do anything on land, even though you own the land, there's so much you can't do. You're telling me you can't get a swimming pool? No, uh, I could put a small one on there. Really? But not a big one, no. Can you turn it into like a go-karting track? Uh, you don't need planning for that. Yeah, you do. Really? Yeah. Why? Exactly why? Because laws, rules, annoying rules. Have you got a garage? I've got a garage. How big is your garage? Is it bigger than my garage? It's probably not, actually. What have you got in your garage? A, a tractor. A Lamborghini tractor? No, they're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How many acres is your garden? 17. 17 acres? Yeah. How many football pitches could you fit? Right, so someone will be showing that on screen now because I have no idea. And the house is how big? It's about as big as your Range Rover. No, it's not. It's just like a normal like four bedroom house. Okay, yeah. but you've got grounds for forever. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Are we here to put a car in a garage? Yeah, but I like to talk about your house. Okay, right. Matt does very well in life. He, he's very low key. Me, I'm, I'm quite extravagant and I show a lot of things. Matt's very low key, but really he lives in a... Yeah. I live in a park, basically. Yeah. I'm like a tramp. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my garage key. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a little penguin on it. So literally, you should be able to pull up, open the garage, yeah. drive in and shut the garage while you're still in the car. Yeah. Confident? Yeah. Are you going to need to get out to have a look or are you happy to just drive in and shut the garage when you're in the car? Okay, so I will shut the garage when I'm in the car, but if at any point it looks like it's going to shut on the car, Shout. Shout. <laughs> so not 100% confident, but yeah, it should fit. Okay, so literally what we're going to do is if you're coming home from work, so we'll get you to reverse there. Yeah. Literally pull in, hit the garage, drive in, okay. and then shut it behind yeah, you. I'll do that. Good luck. Yeah, it'll be fine. Will it hit? Does it need to get out of the car? We're going to find out. Okay, I'm just going to reverse up in my Porsche 911 Turbo S. 3.8 litre twin turbo. What's that? Has he killed a bird on the way here? I have just finished work filming another drag race video. Hard day's work filming. And I'm coming home to my pretend house, which is bigger than my actual house. Oh, I can't wait to park my car in my garage without having to get out of the car at all. And I know that I can fit this car in very easily, so I'm all very chilled about it. This is going to be fine. Honestly, it's going to be absolutely fine. Thankfully, I've got a bird's eye view of the car here, so I should see if I can fit, which will give me the confidence to just go close the garage. Oh, yes. Success. 
surround your cameras. Do you know what? I've always said to you, don't mess around with your silly Lamborghinis and stuff. Get yourself a Porsche. It, listen, we know it's fast. We know it's reliable. Yeah. We know Wins every drag race. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, Fits in your garage. Yeah. Get yourself a Porsche. But has it got the wow factor? Does it look wow? Sure it does. I don't think it does. It looks good. It looks nice. It's nice, but it's not wow. Some of the cars that you have are like, they're not wow, they're like, whoa. Car wow. Whoa. No, wow. Some wow, some whoa. This, it's, it's nice, but it's not. Nothing wrong with nice. Listen, when you jump in an Aventador, it's, it's, a, it's an event. You get in the car and it's like, wow, I'm, oh my God, oh, it's incredible. Then it's whoa, would it fit in my garage? Yeah, but then you, it does fit in the garage, the Aventador. And when you get in this, it's a bit like, meh, it's nice, and yeah, you can put your foot down, but it hasn't got any sort of, meh. It's a bit, meh. It's a bit like a meh, not a woe. A meh, meh. But it does fit. It does fit. With, with loads of space. Yep. And Let's look, let me get fair, out. You've done well, to be fair, at the front as well. Yeah, it's surround me. Oh! Surround me. Oh! 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 Oh dear, it doesn't fit. We've got an, we've got an accident. <laughs> That's where the dog food goes. <laughs> See? <laughs> There you go. Oh, well, that'll polish out, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, Porsche. Sorry, Porsche. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That'll that, 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 that rub out. Okay. So, look, plenty of room at the front. Oh, it looks like I hit a bird. Yeah, I know, I saw that. It's a feather there. Oh, dear. Jed. What is in there? Uh, Why is that there? What is in there? Uh, electrics, the meter or something, I don't know. Can we open the doors? Why no? I've always wondered. No, they're closed. Oh, the door's in there? Yeah. That's what my control for. That, that, those, those are doors? Yeah. So that's a door. There? This is, that's their doors. Oh, okay. Push it. So what's push. in there? Does it push? Oh, there we go. What's in there? What's in there? Has anyone seen in there before? Oh, there we go. Did you not know what was in here? Did you not, did you not go, here's some doors? Here's, here's some doors. Have you ever seen in there before? Probably not. <laughs> Why do I need to look in there? Why are you going to be like, why is there this annoying thing in my garage which makes it harder for me to get my cars in and not go, what is that actually for? Can I remove it? That doesn't affect the garage at all because all the cars fit underneath. And why did your voice go really, really high pitched? Why are you going to be like, why is there this? Why are you going to be like, why is there this? I'm very excited. You did get very excited. Yeah, that's what you do, yeah? And then you've got the control for in here. You know what's behind these doors? Bloody hell, what's this? This is like the matrix in here. Yeah. So that controls the house. Right, so it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it fits. Get yourself a Porsche. Yeah. It does what it says on the tin. Let's help Justin out here. We know what this is. So that is the end of this video. Uh, Matt, thank you again. No worries. Your Porsche fits like a glove. Very Better really than a glove. Easy. It's like an oversized glove. Look at that. That's it. And this is your car for the time being. When's right. this going? In about a month. What's coming? Any exclusives? I don't know yet. I really don't know. Supercar or 4x4? Uh, probably something in between. What, like a... Like, state. Uh, yeah, like a fast saloon car. You've had the RS6, it's not going to be that. No. You've had the RS4, no, you've not... I actually don't know. Well, I might know. I've got an idea. You'll have to check out the Car Wire channel. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to that as well. And he'll be putting a link in the description, won't you? I'll stick it on the screen, Matt. I'm different to you, Matt. I'll put it on the screen so you can just click on it, okay? okay. Not, that, not that you need it, because everyone watches Car Wire anyway. Okay. People only know me because of Car Wire. <laughs> right, that's Matt. I'm Yanni. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you later. Thank you.